Hi, I'm Seth with Hornady Manufacturing. In today's tech tip, we've got our six millimeter Creedmoor match grade die set, and we're gonna outline the three ways we have to determine which neck bushing we'll use for the match grade die. Let's get started. We've essentially got three good ways to determine which neck bushing to use, and we'll start with the simplest. The easiest way is to take a set of dial calipers and a loaded cartridge case. Simply measure in the middle of the neck with a bullet seated. Come in here at .273, Check one more just to be sure. We're at .273 with that one as well. To determine which neck bushing to use, simply take that measurement and subtract how much you'd like for neck tension. And a popular measurement seems to be three thousandths of an inch. And subtract another thousandths of an inch to account for the brass spring back, bringing us to a bushing diameter of .269. The next option is to use a ball micrometer and an unloaded cartridge case. Simply use this mic and measure at two or three different places around the case mouth. This one's coming in at 15, this one's coming at 14, seven. Check one more measurement, 15. We're at 15 and two tenths, 14 and six tenths. That one's right at 15. So we'll use an average of that, we'll call it 15 thousandths of an inch. Simply take your neck thickness times two, which will give us 30 thousandths of an inch. We'll add the bullet diameter, which for the six millimeter is .243. That brings our measurement to .273. And again, we'll simply subtract our desired neck tension of three thousandths, bringing us to .270, and subtract the thousandths of an inch uh, to allow for brass spring back, bringing us again to a .269 bushing. And the third option uses our concentricity tool. If you have the concentricity tool, there is an optional neck wall thickness gauge accessory. So if you equip your concentricity tool with the neck wall thickness gauge, you'll simply zero this indicator on the pilot, make sure it's contacting the pilot. We'll zero the bevel so it points to zero. Now we'll insert a case over the pilot, secure the case, and we'll run for, for thickness. And this is telling us it's 15 thou. I'm getting about a half of a thou plus and minus. So we'll call that variation to be an average of 15 thousandths of an inch. Again, we'll multiply it times two to bring us to 30 thou. We'll add the bullet diameter, bringing us again to 0.273. We'll subtract our three thousandths of an inch and our thousandths of an inch for spring back, bringing us to the 0.269 bushing. If you have any other further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call and stand by for more tech tips.